I can't figure out my angles today. This is a weird room. This is a weird view. Well, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I'm in a really weird space today because I am in my parents' home in Deland, Florida. I am here over the holidays and I have no idea when I'm actually gonna be posting this video. So it may be a while after I'm gone. I don't know when I'm gonna post this, but anyways, I figured I would show you because I'm here and I'm actually traveling back to Minneapolis in a couple of days. and. And I wanted to show you how I pack my carry-on. I've literally filmed like two clips today because I'm doing vlogmas. Like vlogmas is over by the time this actually happens and my battery is flashing at me. Why? Why is it flashing at me? I don't understand. Oh, all right, let me change it and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Hopefully this battery is better. I don't know what's going on. And uh, the neighbors are literally staring at me. I'm in front of this huge picture window. Um, this is my mom's office, by the way. So anyway, I wanted to show you guys what was in my carry-on. I know I've gotten a lot of questions because I previously did a video on my new Whipping Post large messenger bag. I will leave that link below, which will show all of the compartments totally empty. Um, it, I just go into more detail in that post. So again, linked below. But that is what I'm using for my carry-on and let me show you how I pack it. Here is my baby. <gasps> There she goes. Again, I'll leave the post below so you can kind of see how I package it. Um, I do put a scarf on the side. I got this at Target. If I can find it or something similar, I will post it for you guys. Um, the reason that, hold on, let me take it out and then I'll like actually show it to you. I got this from Target a couple of years back and I really, really like it. It's like one of those blanket scarves. So it really just feels like a blanket. Um, the reason I like this, especially on a plane, is it's really big, first of all. And then you can like, cozy up if the plane is really like cold and such like this like a d um but yeah i really like this scarf and i highly recommend a scarf while you travel because you just never know and sometimes you're on the plane and you're like oh my gosh it's like sweat and balls hot so whatever but i like to put that on the end of the bag so that was living like on the edge of my bag here as for the back of my bag let me show you real quick sorry this is like super cumbersome. I should have had like another chair here. So on the back side of the bag, I have, this is my itinerary that I already printed out. And then in the slip pocket, I always have my cell phone as well. So anyway, that just lives in there. And then going into the middle of the bag, that is what I use the most. Oh, also I should say, uh, on the edge of that bag, there's that little tassel. That is from Belkin. I got mine from Target, but if I can find it, I'll link it below. The really cool thing is, oh my gosh, I'm like having all the issues today, you guys. There's just like no good way to show this. I should have had a table. Um, this is a USB charger cord with a lightning port. So this will charge my iPhone like on my computer or like any kind of other charger. So yeah. But this is the bag. Let's go into the middle and I will show you an overview and then I'll just take things out as I go. I do like this bag for travel because I can actually clasp the front of it to make it a little bit more secure. Um, you might be wondering, well, where's your wallet? It's inside the middle. But if I'm actually like going through security and everything, I'll put it in that back slip pocket where I have my cell phone, um, at least for like pre-boarding and things like that. And then once I'm at the gate, I'll just throw it in the middle because it's just a little bit more secure in there. Here is what the middle looks like. And I will go through every single piece that's inside of here. because This is literally how I'm packing it for the way home. And I added a couple of little things here and there because I replaced a couple things, but I'll tell you what those are in just a moment. First things first, I've got my Beats headphones. Um, I will link everything below if I can find it. I know Amazon is sometimes easier for people, so I will link those. These are Beats Studio Wireless in black. I don't know what version these are. I know you can do like a wireless Bluetooth with them. I got them last year because, actually a really funny story of why I got them is because I had really horrible neighbors upstairs. I was living in an apartment at the time and um, they would have really, really loud, loud music all the time and I couldn't work and like produce videos for you guys and it was just this really really horrible thing so I actually uh, ended up getting these because of that so thanks neighbors <laughs> but it actually works out really good for on the plane and stuff like that this these aren't like 100% noise canceling but it does 
help if you're like listening to some music or just have like some sounds going on I don't know but I usually just uh, listen to a little bit of music or um, like watch a movie on the plane or something so anyway but love these Beats headphones I'm just gonna throw everything down here all right and this is also all the like Beats components like wires and stuff if you don't want to listen to it wirelessly I also have my computer cord in here too these are just some mesh pouches that are from sharper image I think yeah this is my only one from sharper image but you can find these all over the place if I can't find this specific one I'll just post something that's really similar online I think I got these in a pack of four or five I want to say I got them from like TJ Maxx or Marshalls like many years ago but I love these things and they are really great for just like containing um, cords and things. Also speaking of cool containers I actually just got this little container which is from Amazon I'll link it below um, this has this it's almost like a hair tie like an elastic hair tie um, it's brown and then it's like this really pretty charcoal gray and then on the inside I actually have my component for my camera which I'm filming on right now to plug into my computer and then I also have one of my external hard drives with the uh, power cord so I put that in here um, since I'm currently doing vlogmas which vlogmas is over right now um, by the time you see this I want to dump footage onto here. I don't want to leave it on my computer because it just bogs things down really badly. But anyway, um, if you're interested, this is made by Inatech. This little guy is. I really like this pouch. I was considering getting another one as well for the Apple computer charger. So I think I might actually do that at some point. Speaking of pouches. <laughs> all right. This bad boy is where my 15-inch MacBook Pro lives. This is actually... If you can see it let me see if I can focus it in for you guys it says Amazon basics on there and this like I don't think it's real leather I think it's just like a faux leather and it has a little velcro lining it's got a little slip pocket in here which is nice it goes pretty much the entire width it fits my MacBook Pro perfectly and then if I do that again on the back side you can kind of see there are some little like a littler slip pocket here and then a bigger one over here so this is kind of a nice little feature um, but I love this thing I think it's really nice really sleek and I like the way that it really looks inside of the brown bag um, this little leather thing and the actual color of the leather are not perfect but it doesn't really bother me and I like to have a little bit of a soft-sided case because before I had just been like bringing around my MacBook Pro in nothing and I just feel like this helps like protect it a little bit more. And the next thing is probably well not the heaviest thing but one of the heavier things in my book or in my book in my bag it is a book. Um, I have been reading the Rachel Cruz Love Your Life and Not Theirs. I will be doing a review or like talk about this at some point. Um, I am that far through. Um, this is the first leg of my trip I will probably read a little bit of this on the plane if I'm not actually working or like editing YouTube stuff or whatever, but I really like it so far and I think the principles are really great in it. Again, I will link this bad boy below as well. And then if you're actually interested, um, I use for bookmarks the Erin Condren little postcards that they give you. Um, I never know what to do with them. I mean, sometimes I'll send them out to people, but I thought this one was like perfect for the actual like book I'm reading. And it says, believe in your future self. Like, I think that's so cool because it is true. Believe in your future self. Like, stop spending your money, girl. I'm excited to finish this. And when I do, I'll talk about it. And then I got my money and this is my Michael Kors wallet that I love. I will leave a link below to the video that I did um, with my updated cash clip system I won't show it to you right now because it is a hot mess in there right now just because I'm on vacation so there's been a lot of there's been some cash going in and cash coming out and I'm not like I'm sure you guys feel me when you're on vacation things get a little bit wonky I did pull out all the cash I was gonna use and I haven't like gone through it all or anything but it's just really wonky right now because I don't have like my normal days figured out and I just went shopping I actually only bought like one little thing but um, I've got like loose bills. I know where they go in the categories, but I just got loose bills in there, so I'm not going to show you. But love this thing, and I will link that video below. And then also in the organizational components, I've got two pens. I've got this one. This is the Paper Mate Ink Joy gel pen in the 0.7, which is my favorite. I'm definitely a team black when it comes to writing utensils. Also, this is my favorite permanent marker. This is the Pilot Ultra Fine Point Permanent Type 
marker, which is my fave. Um, I'll link these guys below. Actually, these guys are always linked below, um, but I love them. And then I am a fan of the Nivea A Kiss of Milk and Honey for my chapstick. I am a chapstick fan. I don't know. I very rarely actually wear lip products besides chapstick. Like this is my normal lip color all the time. I got nothing on my lips but chapstick. So when I wear lip colors, I feel like they just dull my lips a little bit too much and I don't like the way that looks. So, and I'm not a huge fan of dark lip colors. So I just go with chapstick and I like it just fine. Every once in a while though, I will do a lip color and it always when I edit the videos, it always looks funny to me. Okay, so that is it for the regular stuff that I keep in there and then on to the fun stuff. These are all the treats that I'm bringing with me. Um, first and foremost, you gotta have some gum for the ear poppage thing when you travel. Um, I just chose the extra long-lasting spearmint. I did purchase this while I was here. It is a kind bar. I decided to go with the peanut butter dark chocolate, eight grams of protein. Oh, that's not part of the name of it, Emily. It's just like a big run on sentence. Um, my mom and I were at the grocery store not too long ago. Actually, no, this was when I was at the grocery store, I think by myself. Um, I can't remember. We've, I've gone to the grocery store a lot while I've been here and decided to pick this up because I thought this would be a good addition to the video as well as a good addition to my carry-on bag too. So I'll have like a couple of different things to choose from. I really don't like paying for snacks and stuff at the actual airport if I can help it. Obviously beverages, I understand you can't bring those in any longer, but the actual snacks, I'd like to just bring those in. Um, unless I'm like really feeling ill, I will actually like get food on the plane or purchase some food before I get on the plane. Like if I'm on the plane or getting on the plane, um, which actually that happened on the way here. So um, I actually posted on Instagram like the little snack box that I bought and I just wasn't feeling the best. Um, and I think I was just like stressed out and I don't know, whatever. And I was actually reading that love your life, not theirs. And I was like, don't worry guys, it's in the budget. So <laughs> if you guys watch my budgeting videos, you'll understand, but decided to go with this um, because I know that this would have been like $3 at the airport and in the grocery store, it was like $1.20 or something. So another good budget conscious tip is to take whatever you wanna take on the plane and put it in a little Ziploc baggie. Um, these are raisinets that my parents had and I figured, hey, you know what? This would actually be really good for the plane. Um, so I put a bunch of them in here. Trust me, I'm not gonna eat all of this on the plane. I'll be like going a mile a minute, like bleh. Put some of these in a little baggie and this is what I'm gonna be bringing on the plane to snack on if I feel the blood sugar going low, whatever. But yeah, I thought this was a really good idea. I'm also a really big fan of these for travel on the plane. These are just the sweet tart, chewy sours. Um, I like to have something sweet and something like sour or something salty, like something a little bit different because I never know like what mood I'm gonna be on the plane. I like these because they have the reclosable as well as they have this like little groove where you can rip it. And actually I'm gonna rip it on camera because another thing that I like to do is I like to open these before I get on the plane. Um, or even before I get to the airport, because sometimes these can be a little bit testy. Like they just won't open properly. So if you open them while you're in your home, you can always take a scissors. You know what I'm saying? You can't bring a scissors on a plane. So let's open them. Ta-da! It opened, perfect. And then oh, the candy's on the inside. Here, let's try one. See if they're okay. Check if they're poisonous. Mmm. Are really good. Mm. Ooh, those things are sour. They are not lying. Whew. Feels good though. And then you can just seal it right back up, remove all the air, and then pack it right back in your bag. So anyway, those are all of the things that I pack in my carry-on bag now that I've updated it and transferred everything into my Whipping Post Large Messenger bag. I hope you guys enjoyed taking a peek inside of my carry-on. Hopefully this helps inspire you to maybe add some things or delete some things, you know, depending on your needs. If you have any questions, always feel free to post them below and I will get back to you. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's me know that you like these videos and I can do more travel-related videos 
when I travel. Also, feel free to hit that subscribe button if you have not been here before or if you've been lurking for a while. I do that too. I'm a big lurker on the internet. It takes me a while to subscribe, but when I do, I'm like all in. I am here every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with new content for you guys. And if you have any content ideas or suggestions, you can always leave them in the comments below. And you never know, I might be filming one of your video suggestions in the future. So anyway, that is it from me. Thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me today. And I will talk to you guys in my next video. Bye guys.